Hey there, my friend. It's Dr. A from the Fit Father Project and the Fit Mother Project. And I want to do a little bit of a different kind of video today where I want to talk about some philosophy around nutrition and why I think as a culture, we have this whole discussion about healthy foods and nutrition a little bit wrong. See, right now, we're so fixated on things like calories, this type of diet, that type of diet, but I think we're getting lost in the weeds and we're losing the big picture about how food actually interacts with our body. So let's take it back to the fundamental level. When we look at food right now, we're just looking at food labels and nutrition, but what we really need to do is look at the process of how food actually interacts with our bodies. And there's three stages that every food goes through. There's digestion. Once we eat something, we need to know how well does that food digest. Then there's assimilation. How well is that food absorbed into our bodies? And different types of foods have different types of bioavailability, like some proteins are better than others. And then the third step is elimination. How well does our body clear that food out of the digestive tract? So again, digestion, absorption, assimilation. If we're not looking all three of these variables, we're really just being too short-sighted about how a food impacts us. And the reason this is important is because we could look at a calorie label for a food and that food might be hard for you to digest. When you eat it, you might feel gas and bloating. And so we need to start paying attention to that. Even if it looks good on paper, like beans, for example, are a phenomenal example because on paper, you look at the nutrition label, you're like, beans should be the healthiest food ever. They're low in fat, they're high in fiber, they're high in protein, but if they don't digest well for you, they kind of miss the first step of this three-step nutrition process. So we need to add more consciousness and actually evaluate how we feel when we eat foods, because the foods that digest great for you uh, might not digest great for me. There is an individual aspect to this for each of us. This has, happens to do with our genetics, happens to do with the different composition of the gut microbiome, those probiotics for each of us. So the big message here on the digestion front um, is that we want to make sure that we're really adding a lot of conscious attention to when we eat something, how do we feel? So that second step, assimilation. We want to be eating the highest quality foods possible. And unfortunately, when we get a lot of these processed packaged foods, um, things that comes in boxes and bars, they use very low quality ingredients, stuff that does not assimilate very well. And particularly when it comes down to certain kinds of proteins and filler fibers that they throw in these things, they use low quality proteins all the time in some of these packaged goods. And if you look at the nutrition label, um, it just says, wow, this thing's got 10 grams of protein, but how well is that protein actually assimilate into your body. And it turns out that our bodies are pretty much evolutionarily designed to eat food in its natural state. We've been eating fruits and vegetables and meats and stuff like this in their natural state for thousands of years. It's what our bodies are built to thrive on and we tend to assimilate these foods best. And these foods also tend in their natural state to have the harmony of different fibers, vitamins and minerals that help us assimilate them properly. So this is why we're such huge uh, proponents here at the Fit Father and Fit Mother Projects of eating a largely unprocessed diet because it helps us assimilate. And look, you know you've eaten food before and you had massive indigestion and maybe diarrhea after the fact. Chances are you didn't assimilate that food. It just ran through your digestive tract, caused lots of problems, and then you pooped a lot of that stuff out. You didn't get the nutrition out. So it's not just what's on the label, it's what our bodies can actually absorb and assimilate. And this happens to do with our digestive tract and health. And this leads us to the final step, elimination. We need to focus on how well foods are eliminated from our tract because a lot of people don't realize it's not like every food moves through this digestive tube at the same speed. So let me unpack that on two levels. One, you need to start thinking of your human body, this mechanism, as more or less a food tube. From your mouth to your anus is a tube. When you eat things, it goes through this tube, slowly moves through, is eventually digested, assimilated, and then eliminated. So you are a tube, and different foods move through in different um, levels of ease, you could say. So something like fruit. Um, moves through the digestive tract very easily. You eat fruit, it can be eliminated in, in as quickly as four hours. You eat a ribeye steak, it might be moving through your GI tract for 24, 36 hours. It takes a lot longer time. We need to pay attention to these things. And so I want you to start eating foods that you're eliminating well. And what well means is that um, pretty much every single day you're having a well-formed bowel movement. So it's not too soft like diarrhea, it's not constipation. You have really healthy poops that are well-formed and don't require a ton of wiping. If you're wiping a lot all the time and you have very goopy poops and there's something going on in your digestion, we don't talk enough about this stuff. We need to get you on the right kind of diet for you that gives you good healthy poops, which is a sign of good elimination. 
if you're regularly feeling gas, bloated, stuff like this. So we need to look at what are the foods in your diet that might be screwing things up? How is your sleep? How is your hydration? How is your fiber intake? Are you eating mostly non-processed foods? And if you can start to make some of these tweaks and you really dial it in for you, you get to the point where you have a diet that leaves you feeling energized helps you maintain your weight or lose weight or gain weight, whatever you want, you can manipulate the calories, but it feels good. You're not gassy and bloated all the time. You're eliminating, you're having healthy poops. When you have those boxes checked, that means you have a good diet. And if you need help with that, then scroll below in the description, get our either our Fit Father 30X program, our Fit Mother 30X program, or any of our free meal plans. We'll send this stuff straight to your email. My team and I will help you find the meal timing schedule setup that works for you the right kinds of healthy foods you love and how to fit them into your body and your nutrition and make sure you eliminate properly so you feel good all the time without the gas and the bloating. This is possible for you. And we need to really start thinking more about nutrition in terms of digestion, assimilation, and elimination. It's not just about calories. FitFatherProject.com